uh, all over Europe, so you'll find them in Spain, all the way through to Siberia, right? and now the UK. They've displaced our snowy owls as an eagle owl. And um, they're very efficient predators, so the, uh, the tawny owls will go down in number three. Right, he's coming back over. See you, <coughs> Keep going. <laughs> so six foot wingspan, but still silent every time he comes over. I'll look at his camouflage. Fantastic. I'm going to get him back to this perch over here, then I'll get him to sail this way. As he comes in, I don't know if you saw him coming in there, his wings are concave, he's glides, he's like a paraglider. He doesn't want to flick his wings. The rabbit will see that movement and then it's down below ground before he gets there. But, uh, so, but these have been nested in the UK, they killed the forest for over 60 years. And the BBC discovered them 10 years ago in Yorkshire. <laughs> Remember, this is a male and a female is a third bigger. And remember, orange eyes on an owl means day or night. Both. Black eyes, as you see on the tawny owl and the barn owl, mean mainly night time, not strictly. So they don't just come out at night. There's owls. There's owls in every habitat. In the, you've got them in the equator. Very hot. In the burrow, in the ground. Burrowing owls. And then you've got the snowy owls. You've got owls in direct competition with every other bird of prey. These compete with eagles. And, and there's been small, uh, young golden eagles found in eagle owls' nests. <laughs> Never the other way around. Did you go for the I don't know. I don't know. Sun's in the screen, so it's. Listen. <coughs> and, um, if I can keep him moving, I will. Remember them little feathers too, and just to get a girlfriend. <laughs> They're not ears. I know we've got um, we've got a few species in this country we call short-eared and long-eared. Um, it's just feathers, not ears. Uh, and the short-eared owl, strictly daytime, never comes out at night. You didn't know that? You're not watching enough TV. In fact, you're probably watching too much because they don't give you the right information. Uh, right, Cedar. Cedar. <laughs> Try not to touch him. I can tell if you have because you go on like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think he touched me. And if you stroke him like this, he'll take off his oil off his feathers. That's his water. Hello. Uh, so that's, that's yeah. why I I'm going to keep him moving anyway. Uh, now on a day like today, this is when I'm going to keep him in the shade as well because he gets out pretty quick. I mean, you can find these in Siberia. 